All right, not the uh, way we wanted to open conference play. You know, for me, first of all, I need to give credit to, uh, you know, Coach Petrino and his staff and the job they did. And, uh, you know, they've got a, they got a heck of a football team. Lamar Jackson is, is every bit as good as everybody says he is and thinks he is. I mean, the guy's pretty special. And uh, he made some things happen today that uh, most people can't do. And then, uh, then we gave him some opportunities that uh, you can't give a guy. So, uh, you know, we, we, I thought special teams-wise, we, we played really well. Uh, we had a game-changing play uh, in all four phases. I thought there was uh, a lot of really good things on our special teams. Uh, you know, offensively, there were there were a couple, uh, probably about uh, four to five drives that we would have loved to have finished those drives off the way we could have, but we didn't do that for one thing or another. And defensively, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, there was way too much. We we weren't even close to receivers when uh, when the guys were catching the ball, and I don't know how much of that is. Uh, you know, I don't know that you can you can say that's because of Lamar Jackson. Uh, we we uh, we've got to do a much better job on that back end uh, because I thought our guys did a pretty good job of constricting the rush lanes and not just letting him scramble. Uh, I don't think that that's what uh, beat us today. Uh, it was just that uh, he was able to put the ball on people that were wide open. Without being on the seat of any occasion, what do you think the problem was? On that uh, I can't tell you until I see it. I, I don't know the answer. Yeah, I really did, and and uh, I think what's concerning is the mistakes that we're making and, and the mental mistakes. You know, it's not so much physically. I mean, it's uh, yeah, there was a couple things that, you know, when he he uh, you know, a guy comes up to make a tackle and he makes you know he makes a miss. I mean, that's just uh, ability. But uh, there there were too many mental mistakes. I mean, uh, dude, when you have guys that are that open in those situations, there's definitely a breakdown. Uh, we just decided to go with Brandon, and uh, Brandon was doing a really nice job there, and we were gonna we were gonna give him a chance, and he came out and did a nice job. Chaz probably could have gone. I'm not sure he would have been 100 percent at that time, and so we'll just uh, we'll see how you know how it plays out uh, tomorrow. You guys know I'm not gonna talk about that. Did it happen on the, on the, on the sack fumble? I got no idea. Was the plan always to have uh, have Brandon play the first series of the second half? No, no. No, that wasn't the plan. The plan was to start uh, Chaz and then play it by ear from there. That was the that was the plan. So, but I will tell you this: I thought Brandon came in and did a really nice job. You know, uh, I thought both those quarterbacks did a nice job. I thought uh, the offensive line, you know, that's uh, a patchwork offensive line right now, uh, did a great job in protection. There was, you know, there weren't that many times that I felt like the quarterback was pressured. Uh, I thought the, our receivers did a better job of getting open and those kind of things. You know, we didn't run the ball effectively, uh, but uh, you know there were you know there were a couple of big sacks that uh, took a lot of that away. So, are you still waiting for somebody to separate themselves at quarterback, or could this be a quarterback that can move and pass? Oh, I mean, I'm always looking for somebody to separate themselves, you know. And, and I thought Chaz had a good first half. I thought he really did. There, there were just those two series at the end of the first half that, uh, you know, uh, you know, in the, that uh, we would have liked to have had back. I mean, don't feel like we got what we needed there. Uh, but, uh, but I thought, I mean, I, both quarterbacks, I thought, did a really nice job today. I mean, we, there were a couple throws on the, a couple deep balls that we would have liked to have had. You know, we had 21 behind them there, uh, you know, one time. And we got the uh, – uh, DPI, but you know we could have hit that one for a touchdown if we throw the ball out there. On the fourth and one, um, yeah. that, that Brandon threw incomplete. Is that something that you saw that you, you thought you, you you could catch them in the pass? Uh, yeah, we thought we thought it was, but uh, they they uh, went in a different direction, and we just didn't we didn't go to the you know they they brought a uh, a blitz that uh, we were prepared for and we got it picked up, but we just didn't <laughs> execute the play. Larry Jalen was ejected last week. Seemed like he bounced back with some big plays today. They're going to speak to his potential and what you guys thought. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought, you know, just there were, and I can't tell you overall how Jalen played, but I, there were some flashes that he made some really nice plays. I think uh, even on that last long one, I think that was Jalen Dalton that ran the guy it down, was, you know, yeah. at 300 and something pounds. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that, that's pretty impressive. And, and, you know, the kid's growing and, and uh, he's getting better. And, and uh, yeah, he made a mistake last week and, and you know, I mean, we, he, he'll learn from it, and hopefully he's going to continue to get better. Aside from losing, how discouraging is it just to lose in this manner with the defense having the struggles it's having? Uh, it's discouraging. I mean, you, you, when you lose a game, I, I don't really care how I lose it. It's, it's, uh, 
it's a loss. I mean, we, we, we win as a team, we lose as a team. You know, we didn't do enough on offense to, to win the football game. We didn't do enough on defense to win on the football, you know, win the football game. I thought we did enough in the special teams to win the football game. You know, so we we, we still got to get better in both those other phases. Now that you've seen Jackson in person, you were saying obviously how good he is. Oh, there yeah. a certain element that stands out that is just when you're well, I mean, he, the he, hardest thing to match the guy, up with. The guy, I mean, when, you, when you're in a situation in a one-on-one with him in open space, I mean, he's going to win. He's going to win. And there's times when you're in a two-on-one in open space that he's going to win. There aren't a whole lot of guys that can do that. I mean, that guy, he's special now. He really is. And y'all saw him. He sat back there and threw the ball like he, uh, you know, like he was in the NFL. I mean, he, he threw great passes. So, I mean, people talk about that he's not that type of quarterback. I mean, they're, they're, they're wrong. He, he can throw the football. How do you assess the offense in terms of its ability to make more big plays this week? I thought we did a much better job of making more explosive plays this week. I think even, uh, you know, Austin Prohl had some really nice plays for us. Uh, you know, Thomas Jackson. Uh, you know, it was good to see Daz Newsom. You know, Daz Newsom gets in the game early and, and makes some big plays. You know, and so uh, those guys are going to continue to grow and get better, and uh, we just got to get through these growing pains. What did you feel that to happen? Was it just execution, confidence change? Well, I think a little bit of everything. I think, uh, you know, they, they had more confidence. Uh, it was their second game under their belt. Uh, you know, uh, the quarterbacks did a better job of getting the ball to them. You know, the offensive line did a great job with the protection. You know, so uh, I, I think they were overall, they were more comfortable. And, you know, they were challenged. I mean, we, we I mean, five explosive plays in that first game. I mean, you can't, you know, you can't live that way. What was the challenge that you gave them? Our goal is 10. So, I mean, but that, our goal was that in the first game. You know, so we, we uh, and I don't know what, how, what we had today, but I, I'm, I would say we were closer to that number. The inability to run the ball effectively, was that more execution on your part or Louisville's defense? Uh, I think a little bit of both. You know, losing, you know, Bentley wasn't there with us. Uh, I thought Spain and, and Heck did a nice job. Uh, but uh, then, you know, Cam goes down uh, at one point, and so you lose him, and now you're, uh, you know, you're, you're trying to get through it, and you're trying to do the best job you can. And uh, at that point, we just, you know, it would have been nicer to be able to run the ball more effectively, but we just we couldn't do it. you got to give them credit, too. You know, it's not just all us. It's not not a whole lot of difference in their philosophies and the way we do things. I mean, we, you know, to be honest with you, if you were with us in in our practices or in meetings, I mean, it's it's the same that it was last year. You know, there there's there's no difference there in philosophy. So you know, our, we just got to do a we got to do a, I got to do a better job as a coach. Uh, our staff's got to do a better job, but we got to do a better job making sure our kids understand it and they, they understand it well. Larry, yeah. uh, a lot better than you thought it was good. <laughs> the defense made it as good. Does this change your season approach now? No, no, it's not going to change the approach. I mean, we're, we're, uh, I, I'm not going to sit here and say the offense was better than I expected them to be. That, that's, you won't hear that from me because i got pretty high expectations for both sides. I, I, was, I said both sides didn't play well enough to win the football game today, you know, and the special teams did. Coach, it seemed like your defense was especially susceptible to the slant, quick slants. Uh, there just seemed to be gobbling up yardage on those slants. How do you stop that? Well, you can, uh, you, you can change your coverages up, you know, but at the same time you're trying to keep eyes on uh, number eight, you know, and so, I mean, they put you, they, they put you in a tough situation. I mean, that's, that's what they do with their offense. I mean, because if you watch his uh, – his reads and things that he's where he's pulling the ball, it's not. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily pull the ball in those situations, but he goes and makes something happen when he pulls it. You know, you make that you call that an ability read. You know, 